one concept that's going to be very important throughout this download is this idea of the three triangles. The first is inside the opponent's body. Generally, we're going to have our hands pressed up against the biceps with our thumbs tightly against our fingers to event, prevent them from getting jammed. We're going to have the crown of our head thrusting in and prying into the opponent's face. This is what we term to be inside the opponent's space. And we very rarely zone completely inside, uh, but if we do find ourselves here, it's important we have good position. The second is to be split or mixed, wherein we have our body more towards one side. We're starting to go outside one arm. We're still addressing the far side bicep. We have a hand on one bicep and we're going over or under the second bicep. We're starting to split out to the side. Our head will also be on the angle of the person's face. And finally, the third would be regarded as being completely outside the opponent. Now, at a very literal level, this can include a Russian two-on-one where we're grabbing the arm or any sort of overwrap where we're on the outside. It can include any pin wherein the arm is pinned or trapped to the body, but for me, it also includes a body lock. Even if the opponent's arm is snared around, some people regard this more as a split position, but I'm confident enough in my body lock to be able to get to the rear flank, and we'll see all of this in the download. Now, if you want to see a really good classical example of somebody who does double bicep and split, look at the old boxing champion, Jack Johnson. Johnson was renowned for having a retreated stance, and he would lunge in with this jab and then tie his opponents up. He was regarded by many of the critics of the day as being a boring fighter because he would often get underhook and pikes and double biceps. The, the one thing Johnson didn't do was keep a head spear. Because he was a taller man, he oftentimes had opponents lower than them. They would correctly keep their heads uh, into the body. And although it was somewhat illegal at the time, they would oftentimes head spear into his face, giving him grief and uh, in one case getting disqualified. So. When we, when we want to see a really good pragmatic example in a, in a striking scenario, this is a classic. Our first position is going to be precisely this double inside with the hands on the bicep. It is very easy to overlook this when we see it in MMA or in wrestling or in sport, but it is a basic default position. As a bouncer, I, it was one of the first things I learned was to monitor those biceps if you find yourself inside the phone booth to make sure that you don't get any um, sucker punches up the center line or, or get overwhelmed. It's a basic form of sensitivity. It gives you intelligence and information that you just can't get uh, quickly enough with your eyes. So we're gonna begin with section one, the inside triangle. Okay guys, so watch, super simple. All we're gonna do, aujourd'hui c'est travail à l'intérieur. So we're gonna do inside clinch boxing. On a deux positions du bars. On a l'intérieur, we have inside, when we're inside both biceps, vous êtes dans le centre. Puis on peut être à l'extérieur, puis des fois il y a des mélanges. Right, then I can look at how I can get outside and blends of inside out. So we're gonna start off in inside position. Idéalement, on ne veut jamais utiliser des pouces, right? I want to be careful about using my thumbs because they can get jammed very easily. So I've got my, my palm heels on the bicep, je suis sur les biceps. La tête est très proche, head is nice and close, puis on veut pousser dans le visage. I'm usually pushing. Faire attention qu'on n'a pas une un déviation excessive, right? I don't want to have this position and then push off like that. It's going to start to hurt the neck. So if I lean into the corners, si tu pousses un peu, un peu sur le coin, suive avec les hanches, right? My hips, instead of doing this, I should lean a little bit, and then I, I turn my hip into it a bit, and I start to push, so it's coming from my spine. So I want to see that position. If I switch normally, I would go very hard across the face. That's what we call a match light, like I'm lighting a match with my head. But because we, I want to work with actual body, I'm going to roll more on his chest, and he can accommodate. I'm not going full speed, and he can accommodate with his body. But there's a slight angle. And then a slight angle. And then he's going to do the same thing on me. He's going to double bicep, get in. He pushes. I give him good pressure. I give him good pressure. One thing I can do to take pressure off my face when he's driving in is I raise my shoulder. Right? Left on épaule, puis on va faire comme un, un ciseau. I scissor it between. I call it a violin grip. I like that. La, 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 la. I want to have that kind of a pressure on his head. That's going to take it off my teeth. And when he switches, my other shoulder is already in position. So it's starting to deviate them off and it redirects a bit of the direct head spear pressure.